today I want to show you the basics of sampling and I will be using the MPC Studio but all these techniques also apply to all the other MPCs and I won't be really covering drums today I will only focus on how to sample like how to chop a sample and how to record a pattern with these chops that you just made I will be sampling from my phone and yeah let's get right into it so the first thing that we want to do is when we sample from a external device we want to go to the sampler which we on the MPC Studio do by pressing mode and then sampler and here, um, for me personally, I have to change the settings because I only have one input, so I have to record in mono. Yeah, and just like that, I have it in mono and I'm actually ready to record a sample. And I will record the sample in slice mode, which means that I can slice the sample while I record it. You change that by going here and then choosing slice. And I almost forgot to mention that I will put monitoring on so I can hear the sample while I play it, just to know when I'm going to make the next slice. So yeah, let's go ahead and record. This is gonna do it for now and the next thing that we want to do is name our sample or name our chop so that we know which program is our chops and that's gonna be really important when you have more than one program when you're gonna add some drums or when you're gonna add some bass and after we hit edit we end at the sample edit page and here we can start adjusting all of our slices and usually I start with zooming in so I can see all of the chops or all of the slices a little bit better and can adjust them a little bit more fine and then I just select sample start, which you do right here. And now I can adjust the sample start. And I don't have to adjust the sample end because if I adjust the sample start of all the chops, the sample endpoint will be adjusted automatically. Because for example, the sample endpoint of this chop is gonna be the sample start point of this chop. So it's, it kind of gets adjusted automatically. So yeah, let's go ahead and adjust the slices. And as you can see, when I'm adjusting, I use the shift button and the drop wheel at the same time to get more fine chops and just get like more precise with the sample start. Now that we have adjusted all of the slices, we're gonna go hit new program and hit do it. And now we can just press main to get to our main page. And we have to make sure that we on the track that we want, in this case track 1. You should go ahead and name it, I won't do it for the sake of this video, but you should go ahead and name this sample and the drums obviously drums, so you don't get confused when you choose between different tracks. Now that we are on track 1, we want to go to program select and select the program that we made, which I call chops. And now we have all of our chops on the main page. And now you can just kind of start with experimenting with, for example, the pitch, which you do by pressing mode and going to the program edit. And what's really cool about the MPC Studio is that you can, you can access all of the cue links that, that you can see on the pads. And you do that by going to the touch strip, go to cue link on the settings. And now you can hold down touch strip and this will turn red, which means that right now we are on the cue link that is right here. And as we can see, the pitching is right here. So if we pre press that and now we use the touch strip to adjust it, you can see that the pitch turns up and down and you can actually just kind of start experimenting with, with the pitch. Out of that, you can just start experimenting, trying to get some patterns. The next thing we want to do, and we want to make sure that we do this after pitching, is finding out the tempo. I think most MPC users do this by tap tempo, and you do that by pressing tap tempo, and while you press tap tempo, you play in the sample uh, in the right tempo. So basically like this. Okay. 
and we can see that we are around uh, 93 and I would suggest that you always round up your BPM because it doesn't make any sense to use weird numbers like 93.75 or something like that. So now that we have that rounded up we can start recording and you do that, that by pressing record and afterwards play start basically like this. And as you could hear, the count, like the BPM count, was way louder than the sample itself. And that is because we haven't normalized it yet. And I, I like to normalize it afterwards. You do that by pressing mode and going into the sample, sample editor again. Then you want to go into trim mode and select all of the slices and then just hit normalize. And just like that, you have all of the chops normalized to 0 dB. So yeah, we can go ahead and press main and listen to our sample. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and slow this down a little bit and I really recommend to always afterwards after you played in your pattern I would always recommend to pitch it down again or pitch it up maybe um, play with the BPM so you get something that you like and something that sounds nice to your ears and when I change to the tempo I hold down tap tempo and now I can adjust the jog wheel and let's go for maybe 87 and listen to that Yeah, this sounds cool and I'm gonna go ahead and put some drums on this real quick. I won't really show how I do it because I want to do that for a different video. But I'm just gonna put some drums onto this so you can kind of get the idea how this would sound as a whole beat. And as you can see, I put some very simple drums onto this and here's how the beat sounds all together. Mm -hmm. 